okay. We went momentarily four points clear last week, but four points now, definitely after round, uh, round 18. Uh, beating South Melbourne at home, four points clear of them. Must be a moment to save it tonight. Yeah, look, it's, it's a fantastic effort from the boys. Um, it was a true derby game, I thought. You know, South were in it until the last minute, no doubt. You know, we snip 1-0. And, you know, we, we, we had more chances. We should have, I suppose, buried a couple of them, but uh, didn't have them. But that, that's that's the way the game rolls. And But, you know, we held on the well. Um, you know, we, we actually played some really good stuff at times, and I was very happy with that. So, at the end of the day, for me, what pleases me the most is that, you know, you play well, you play the right type of football, and you get the three points. For me, that's uh, that's the most pleasing aspect, that um, that we can do all those together. Uh, the beautiful battle was key this week, as it was for a couple of months ago. Must be very pleased with how your midfield performed today. Yeah, super stuff. I mean, they, you know, Liam and uh, Tyson were, 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 were immense, and uh, Troy, I think, was probably best on ground today, personally. Um, it, it's so important that your engine room is, is just working hard and, and, and you know, cutting everything off. I, I can't fault the boys, uh, like I can't fault anyone, really. I mean, the defence held up well. You know, um, it's just up front we've got to just complete our great work, you know, and uh, you know, I think if we do that, we'll be, we'll, <laughs> we'll be really, truly uh, a devastating team. Barring those chances we missed, was it a point you wanted to make exposing their back four? Because Chris Lucas and Ryan DeVries got in behind with their pace and really exposed their centre-halves. Yeah, we knew, we knew that that would be a bit, um, bit slowish at the back, so we tried to exploit that, like you said. And, but in saying that, in the first 15 minutes, we tried to actually get the ball, knock it long over the top, which didn't work at time because we didn't overhit it and they were cutting it out. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to split the two, the, the full back and the, and the centre back in between, that ball in between them, the killer pass as they call it, um, do that better second half. It, it worked at times in the first half, second half it was a bit better because we didn't normally just try to just knock it long and try to you know, let Chris run onto it. So, you know, that's not our type of game to be honest, but we knew that um, you know, we had to exploit him at the back and, and we did that quite often. How crucial is uh, Topalovic and Webster in a game like tonight? They really uh, shut out Lujic. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, we, you know, we know Milos is a, is a quality player. He's been the best, best centre forward in the past two years. And, um, you know, we, we just, uh, the boys have been, you know, they've got this together. They just they just know each other, know each other's game, they know where to move and so on. So they're helping each other. They're, they're actually um, really good together and confident with each, other's, uh, with each other's work. So it's pretty good to see. You spoke on the radio about the dropping out of the FFA Cup and you're still seething on know what a big opportunity that could have been again for the club um, is the only um, compromise now to go and win the league absolutely I mean that's that's all we can do at this stage uh, you know dropping out of the FFA Cup was was hard to take um, but at the end of the day you know it happened and it's, it's a one-off game where now we've got you know pull all our efforts into into the championship at the moment it's uh, paying dividends it's a game like tonight a grand final preview I don't know. Look, well, for us, I told the boys this, these are championship-winning games. You know, this is what we saw wins your championships games like this. And uh, at the moment, you know, we beat the first, the teams below us, uh, for us that were second on the ladder the past two weeks. And uh, you know, for me, though, you know, no goals against and five or four. So, I, I, you know, I can't praise them enough. Is the message now for the boys? Complain to see. Do not get complacent. We've got a gully next week. A lot of um, they've been struggling this year, but will the message throughout the week be do not take them lightly? We've beaten South Melbourne, but it's 26 rounds plus the final series. Absolutely, um, we we do not take any game lightly. Uh, we know that Green Gully, whilst they've been struggling early on, they're they're actually picked up lately. So um, we know it's going to be a tough gig, and then you know they're, they're at the you know, lower part of the league, so they'll be really wanting to get a win, but. For us, um, you know, I don't have to say anything anymore to the boys because I, I think they know what's what's required. So um, I don't really have to motivate them. They know that they're, they're, they're close, but you know, not close enough at the moment. So we just got to keep working hard and keep doing, you know, what type of performance like we did today every week from now on until the end of the season because we know every club will come out and try to play against us big time. With Heidelberg dropping points today and South playing Heidelberg next week, is really is the plan really to get uh, as big of a gap as you can on those um, two teams uh, as we go into the latter end of the season? Look, uh, seriously, I don't I don't want to look at who's, who's below us at the moment. All I want to do is just get the three points at week in, week out. If I can do that and they keep knocking each other off, so be it, you know, for me. Uh, but as long as we keep, we keep getting the three points, that's what counts the most. So it's not like, oh, let's win so we can break, break away from them south or hold a beat. That's Absolutely, it's not that. We just want to get the three points. Now, if they start, you know, knocking each other off, you know, that's fine by me and I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Just a quick word on 
at the form of midfielder Liam McCormick. Started the season on, on the bench. He's worked his way back into the starting 11 and in the last month has probably been the most informed player in the league. Absolutely. He's, um, Liam is a quality kid. Um, he, he, he takes it you know, on the chin that he's, he's out of the team. He works hard. He got his chance, he's taken it, and it's actually very hard to replace him at this stage. And I'm very happy for him because he's, uh, above all, he's a good player. He's actually a very good player. Uh, the work he does is immense, uh, but he's also a great kid. Um, in terms of the undersfeeder streak as well, you know, you don't like, like to focus on it, but looking ahead in the future, is it positive to you knowing that we can beat any team in the league? I think any team can beat any team in the league. Seriously speaking, that's how this league is, really. So you know, for us, we we, we, we know that, but we're not we're not like I said, we don't think about <laughs> the undefeated streak. It's just it's happened. I mean, uh, and and we'll take it. I mean, there's a, we, like I said, we just go in week in week out to win to get the three points, and as long as we've got that in our mind, uh, really the the undefeated streak doesn't. We haven't even talked about it. So for us, we just leave it aside. We just want to win every game. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Awesome. No worries. Awesome.